Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on configure hostname resolution. So a hostname um, is a another feature you have to have on a, as part of a network and a hostname is literally a name for your device or host. So you have a host a hostname and an IP address and in, in most cases you would use something like a DNS server, which is a domain name server, to resolve your name to an IP address. So for example, uh, when you type in www.google.com, um, it's going to resolve that DNS name, which is www.google.com, to an IP address, which the actual your actual PC can actually go out and get uh, the web page for. So yeah, the host name is just a nice way to, easy way to remember a, a device's IP really. So we've got quite a few different ways of setting this up and configuring it. But for the, for now we'll just do um, the same old stuff. So sudo bash into the uh, prompt as pretty much always. Um, probably not required for most of this, but it's yeah, just for ease. Okay, so to uh, when you first build your um, Red Hat box, you will actually have had have had configured a host name of some sort. So you can view that using the host name command. So you can do the minus s to view the short name. In this case, I've given it a very uh, simple name of rel8. Um, yeah, not not overly useful. Uh, so a lot of uh, companies may have a naming convention of some sort, so you can tell what kind of server it is based on the host name, perhaps. And you've got host name minus f, and that will be the fully qualified domain name or fqdn. In this case, we haven't got anything configured for the fqdn, so we can actually make that make a change to add that in. So we can do vi, and then it's etc. Host name. Uh, we can do dot uh, test dot local perhaps as the new domain uh, so it'll be the this is the host name this is the subdomain and this is the main domain or the actual domain itself and we can do a right quit and then we just do host name ctl to force it to reread it and you can see the static host name is this And now we can do a host name minus s to get short name and minus f to get the full name when we've got that dot test dot local put um, reporting back. So next thing I mentioned is the domain name servers or uh, DNS servers. Uh, these are configured via NMCLI as we used previously to configure IP addressing. Um, and the actual configuration is actually stored in a particular comp file or configuration file. So we can do a cat on that file to view what the current configuration is. And you can see it's it's got a special warning that's generated by network manager. So if you make manual changes to this, you can expect it to be overwritten and you'll lose that information. This is search. So it's saying where you need to search for your local domain. So we've got test.local. And we've got a name server of 111 and name server here as well. So the name servers are the domain name servers. So these are the servers it goes out and reaches to get uh, DNS resolution. So we can test that. We just do a ping of www.google.com. And you can see it's actually returned an IPv6 address for google.com. Obviously, they're using IPv6. Um, and yeah, that's just what is returned. And it will depend on what domain name server you use uh, to what address comes back and also depend on what kind of load balancing they're currently using in Google. So it may return a different IP address almost every single time you ping it. Uh, it does depend on what they're currently doing. But in this case, you can see it's currently returned the same one. Okay, cool. So if you want to actually make a change to this, we can use the NMCLI and connection mod and I think it's yeah Eve zero I've got. I think my current active. Let me just do a connection show. So I have that one. Let me just check which one's my current active. So 
So we just do an IP address. Okay, this is on the 10.10.2. Okay, so this is, the, this is the active connection because I actually got the 10 network, which is the active network. So let me just do a clear on this. And it will be on connection. So NMCLI connection modify. If I just do a double tab, you can do that network, which is the S3. And then it's IPv4 dot DNS and in this case we can set it uh, just to the Google DNS servers um, I'm sure everyone knows these ones by now it's so we can just again we have just a just as an, an example just pop that in there and then you would do a NM CLI um, connection reload to reload that configuration and then just do a system CTL uh, restart start and then network manager and that will restart that and then we can just do a cat etc resolve.conf and you can see we've got the addition the only the single entry now because I just specified that um, this might this may be from another connection but we can do an NS lookup and we can actually specify the domain say, name ser domain server we're going to look up with so we could say I, I want to look up uh, google.com at this particular name server so it's going to use this server to look up Google and it's got this returning that address and we can just do a general NS lookup which will just use the first name server in this list and you can see it's using 111 and you can see the address is returning there as again as well so yeah that just gives you a way to configure uh, DNS if it's not already configured um, you used to be able to edit the file you can I think you can still do that but obviously it's the best way is using uh, NMM NMCLI okay the final thing I want to show you is just the hosts file so there's a, um, a file locally on Linux you can actually just use to override DNS entries and um, so it's at highest precedence so you could actually have um, you can have custom rules uh, maybe point Google to a particular IP address if you really wanted to um, or any any domain you could have uh, you could even have like an, your own DNS server almost with individual entries you manage which is pretty unmanageable pretty quick but um, just gives you a way to override what's existing already there. So if I do uh, VI etc hosts, you can see the current in entries. So we've got uh, the 127, which is basically a loopback address, which is just saying the loopback address is a local host. It makes sense. And this is the IPv6 loopback. So IPv4 and IPv6. So let's do a new line. We can do, um, I think it's 10, sorry, 10, 0, 2, 15. And we can just space, 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 rel 8.local and rel 8. And we can also do, let's just do another one, 10.02.16. And we'll call it test server.local and then test server. So that's saying the first one's a fully qualified domain name and the second one's the short name and you've got short name or the host name and then you've got the fully qualified domain name there so you want to right quit that you then need to test that so we can do a ping test server and you see it's resolved the address so ping test server dot local we obviously get in domain the destination host is unreachable because it doesn't exist but in this case yeah we can see that it's actually trying to reach out to the host we can do ping rel 8 and you can see it's resolving to 10 to 15 which is great I don't think I actually used the right IP address but anyway the 10 to 5 would have been the right one let's just quickly update that let's quickly delete that entry uh, we can do a right quit on this so if I do that again 
and ping, ping ring away, so it should now ping yep. So it's quick, it's resolving to the correct address now. So yeah, you can see you can you can do a very quick um, DNS resolution, uh, local one, if you wanted to, using the etc hosts. So you got the you also use the uh, local name for test server dot local will also resolve to the same. So yeah, um, that is pretty much all I wanted to cover. So we covered a bit about the host name command um, that gives you the short name which is the minus f, the long name or fully qualified domain name which is minus f. You've got the host name editing you can just use the uh, etc host name which you can edit and then you run the host name CTL to force it to update uh, or you can restart the services host name CTL is better. Uh, DNS, you've got the uh, resolve.conf, which stores the um, configuration of all the DNS servers you're currently using. And generally, you've got a maximum of three, just FYR. And then you've got the option to add additional, and that's using the NMCLI as previous. And we then can also use the hosts file, which is etc. hosts, to do manual overrides for DNS resolution. So as always, you've got man pages on these things. Uh, stuff like NMCLI has got a nice man page and host names as well. Um, as always, I've put my uh, details on screen now. So uh, you've got my Kofi page uh, for donations. Um, I received a few quite recently. It's been uh, it's been fantastic. Thank you very much for those. Um, got my T-shirt store um, or apparel store on. Um, public and also uh, I'll put the de discord details on the screen as well if you've got any questions you're more than welcome to join and um, ask them there so it's an easier forum to ask questions uh, well thanks again guys for uh, viewing the video uh, like uh, the video if you if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe for more videos